Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4 of How to Be a 3D Animator. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a super easy way to have your characters settle into a pose. You either call this settle, or you could also call it a moving hold. Uh, moving holds are very subtle animations that keep the character alive after it has hit its pose. In 2D animation, you don't really need this, and it becomes an expectation. Sometimes you, you can even have the main character standing still, while well, only the mouth is moving, and that's completely accepted in 2D animation. Uh, yeah, there's no way you're getting away with that in 3D. In 3D, you need constant motion. Now, I'm not talking your character waving around. There needs to be some sort of movement to keep the character alive, even if the character is not the one talking or not the one in frame. There's always need to be some sort of movement. It doesn't matter how subtle it is. There's a very basic way to achieve a basic hold also really helps with settling a character into its pose without it looking very abrupt. So if, when you, if you don't settle your character into a pose and they go from one pose to another, they just stop the second they hit that second pose, it doesn't look natural. The people will be, viewers will be able to point that out right away. Here's an example of a pose to pose animation. Here's the same example splined, which means it's just going pose to pose in a splined tangent as we talked about in the previous video. Now it's pretty clear that the character hits the pose too hard and it stops way too abruptly. Now let's have the character settle into the second pose. There we go. Now as you guys can see, the difference is pretty clear here. This is a this is pretty easy to do. So let's just jump into Maya and I'll show you guys how to do this really quick. Cool sound effect. All right, now that we're in Maya, this is what we have to work with. Cool, cool. So I have everything selected. Here we have um, we have the two we have three poses so we have this pose and we have the second pose but in between we also have a uh, well in, in between pose it's actually what I try to do what I try to do here is I squish the character a little bit to create more of an arc I have the head also tilting downwards uh, rotating slightly downwards so it creates that uh, nice arc now what we want to do here once we have our three poses, we're going to go uh, to the very last pose. And like we learned in the previous videos, uh, we're going to hold the middle mouse button on the mouse, drag this last frame out to frame, well, let's say 20. And then we're going to frame 9, middle mouse drag, bring it to frame 10, set a key. So now uh, our previous frame 10 is now 20, and our previous frame 9 is now frame 10. And let's see what we have now. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select the head control, go to my graph editor. In the graph editor, I will select everything. And over here, when it says stats, the first number, I'm going to select it. Press plus equals one plus equals one what that does is that it moves all the frames selected forward by one frame inherently delaying the head by one frame now i'm going to select the shoulders so we have the shoulders selected and again i'm going to select everything this time i'm going to press minus equals two in the stats bar so we want the shoulders to be reacting before the body reacts, and we want the head to be reacting after the body reacts. So we have something like this. Now something else we can do is I'm going to select the elbow controls and delay this, select everything. Delay this by one frame as well by typing in plus equals one. Same with the wrists, I'm going to select the, the wrists right here, select everything, plus equals 1, and let's see how this looks like. Okay, just a little recap, uh, I aside from dragging the frames out and having the characters settle into the last pose, I also um, 
did some polishing on on the expression and I also added some eye darts so uh, near the end where you see uh, when the character stops moving essentially I add a bit of eye motion so the eye darts downwards a little bit this happens in a single frame so the eye darts slightly downward in one frame difference and this adds a little bit more life to the character um, so as the as the motion of the body is slowing down to a near complete stop just so the character doesn't, doesn't seem dead right before that happens I have the eyes dart just to give the character a little bit more uh, life before he goes into another pose for example so as you guys can see the difference here is pretty clear um, and this is pretty easy to do so hopefully this video helped if it did help make sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button hit the little notification bell to stay notified of future videos um, I will be doing a series of videos and I'm basically making this a series where as the series progresses um, it'll be getting more and more advanced so um, what essentially I'll be doing is these are essentially going to be classes. So I really suggest starting these series from episode one and making your way here. Uh, unless you're already advanced in animation, that's the case. You can still stick, stick around. You might learn something. These videos are aimed more towards beginner animators who are just, who are just getting started um, or are in school. I just really hope these, these do help. See you guys in the next video. Happy animating.